Hey, Climbers. Welcome back to uh, Maximize Your Mind this Monday. I hope you're all excited for week four. Uh, we have lots of amazing stuff going on, lots of different challenges and some good content this week. So this week, Enhance Lab is back with Steph and Kara, and they're going to be running us through some mindfulness sessions. Uh, so without further ado, I'll hand it over to you guys. Thanks, Justin. Uh, good to see everyone. This is my like fifth peak session, I think. So I recognize a lot of you I'm so happy to be back but this is Kara's first ever so uh, maybe we'll just introduce ourselves really quickly I'm Steph and I am in my second year's master's in psychology at U of C and I have done some volunteering with Special Olympics in the past and have been doing some Special Olympics related things for the past uh, three years I think and have been loving it but I'll let Kara introduce herself too. Yeah, hi, so this is my first session um, and I'm really excited to help out with this and get to know you all better, at least over Zoom. Um, and I'm in my first year of my master's program at U of C. So yeah. Awesome, so maybe if you wanted to introduce yourselves in the chat and just let us know what sports you play, um, things like that. I'd love to read that, but I'll start off. Um, I go through this every time. So if you've um, done a mindfulness session before, it might be review, but mindfulness is a set of skills that can include meditation, being kind to ourselves and others and paying attention to how our bodies feel. And mindfulness helps us by helping us feel calm and relaxed, improving our health. So lowering stress levels, helping us to sleep better at night, lowering our blood pressure, and of course, improving our minds. So for example, improving our focus and concentration, which is very important as athletes. Um, it's very important to have that focus and concentration and to be ready for our sports. And also in the chat, maybe let me know if you've done mindfulness before. I would be interested to know that. It's good seeing everyone's sports. There's a lot. Figure skating, gymnastics, curling, swimming. Awesome. So this is our schedule for today. Um, we all have different brains, so we're all going to benefit from different mindfulness practices. There will be some that you like and probably some that you don't like as much. So we'll try a few different things and hopefully there'll be some that you really enjoy and think that you'll use in the future. So we'll do two different deep breathing today. Kara is going to lead us through belly breathing and five finger breathing. And then we will do tensing and releasing. And then we'll end with a quick gratitude meditation. All right. All right. Everyone can hear me okay, I'm hoping. Um, thank you for the intro, Steph. So like she said, we're gonna start with some belly breathing. So what I'm gonna do is get you all to sit in a comfortable position. So kind of sit back, put your feet flat on the ground if you can, or just let them dangle there and try to straighten out your posture. So I'll give you all a second to get into a nice seated position. So we're gonna gently close our eyes and just let your shoulders drop down so that they relax away from your ears. And I'm gonna have you to just start paying attention to your breathing and just start breathing naturally. So you don't need to start doing anything quite yet. We're just gonna breathe naturally. All right, so now we're gonna rest our hand gently on our belly. You probably can't see mine, but I'm resting my hand on my belly with the fingertips of my hand kind of in the middle. We're gonna breathe in smooth through our nose and exhale slowly through our mouth. And just continue taking these slow, smooth breaths. When you breathe in, I want you to notice your belly push your hand apart as you fill your lungs. And then when you breathe out, your belly's gonna sink back towards your spine. So you can imagine that your belly's like a balloon and we're filling it with air, watching it inflate and deflate. Just keep breathing like that. And if any thoughts or images come into your mind, just notice them and then bring your attention back to your breath. 
You might also feel physical sensations or different feelings in your body. And I want you just to notice them and then bring your mind back to your breath. So we're gonna breathe in through our nose about 10 times. If your eyes are closed, once you get to 10, you can open them, but just keep going if you're not quite there yet. All right, if people are done, give me a thumbs up. Do we feel a little bit more relaxed now? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna lead you through one more breathing exercise before we get into the fun tensing and releasing of our muscles. So you might've done this before in another peak session, but we're gonna do the five finger breathing. Have any, have you guys done this before? Thumbs up if you've done this. Yeah, this is a good one for slowing down your breath and re relaxing your body. So we're going to have our hand out, stretched out like a star. And the pointer finger of your other hand is ready to trace those fingers. So we're going to trace our fingers nice and slow. And as you move up the finger, you breathe in through your nose. As you move back down the finger, you breathe out through your mouth. So we're gonna go just like that. Breathe in through your nose on the way up, out through your mouth on the way down. All right, let's go through that hand two more times. You can start back to the beginning or go backwards. Okay, breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. You guys are done, you can give me a thumbs up. All right, and you can let me know in the chat if you enjoyed those breathing exercises, if you're feeling more relaxed, anything that, any thoughts you have on that before we get into the muscle relaxation. And these are definitely things you can use around competition to, you know, slow down any nerves. Oh, that's good. It was good and relaxing. We enjoy feeling relaxed. Perfect. That is the goal. I love to see that. Okay. I'm feeling really relaxed too. This is good for me too. Ooh, maybe one time we'll have to go through some yoga as well. Okay, so we're gonna go through a tensing and relaxing of our muscles. So the first thing that we do, oh, I love the frog picture that stuff put on there. So the first part is tensing your group of muscles. 
and holding it for, we're going to do our holding our muscles for seven seconds. And then the second part of this is that you release the muscles, leaving them nice and relaxed. And you let the tension just flow away from your body as you take a nice deep breath in and out. All right. Try to... Do I keep minimizing your guys' screen? Or are we good? Okay. Okay. So do you guys all know that scrunchy face emoji? I'm not sure. Give me some thumbs up. Yeah, we know that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and look just like that. So we're going to scrunch our face as much as possible and hold it for seven seconds. Let your face relax and we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. I'm actually going to count for you guys because I realize it's probably hard to just scrunch your face and count to seven at the same time. So I'll do that. All right. So that's the face one. And if you guys remember any of these afterwards, you can definitely do these muscle relaxation techniques on your own too. So we're going to do our shoulders. So picture a ninja turtle getting back into its shell. So we're going to pull our shoulders up like you want to retreat into your body. And we're going to hold it for one, two, three four, five, six, seven. We're gonna relax those shoulders down, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, you can give it a little shake, feel, feel those shoulders nice and relaxed. All right, now I wanna see everyone's best flex. We're flexing those muscles, flexing those arms. All right, so we're gonna squeeze our arms nice and tight. Our best flex for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You relax those arms, big deep breath in and out. And you can give those arms a nice little shake too. Okay, we have a couple more here. So we're gonna, well, it kind of would be more realistic like the frog lying on its back, but we're gonna picture that a puppy is about to come and jump on our stomach and we're bending over like this and flexing our abs so that we're ready for it to jump onto our stomach. And we're just gonna hold those abs flexed over for one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, you sit up tall and release your abs. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, now for this one, you might need a little more space away from your screen because we're gonna be extending our feet up so that we're relaxing or tensing and relaxing our legs. So imagine your toes are held by a string puppet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex our legs up and keep those toes pointed up towards the sky like someone is pulling them up. So we're gonna flex those legs and hold them up in the air for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You let them fall back down. You take that deep breath in and out. Okay. All right, the last one we're gonna do for this exercise. So we're gonna imagine we're on a beach or even, I don't know, if you have some really fluffy carpet and you wanna bury your toes in there, we're gonna tense our toes by just curling them into the ground or into your shoe. And we're gonna hold it like that, curling those toes for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Relax your feet and we're gonna take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, did we like that one? Would you guys wanna go through those one more time to relax our bodies again before the next exercise? 
You guys can give me a thumbs up or let me know in the chat if you want to go through it one more time. I see a couple nods, but yes. We have one yes to doing that again. Oh, another yes. Yeah, I'm feeling nice and relaxed from this. That's good, Lori. If you get sleepy, then you'll sleep so good tonight after all these. Okay, I'm gonna go through that one more time. And so then we'll get the best out of this exercise. Okay. All right, we're gonna start back at the top with the scrunchy face emoji. So we're gonna scrunch our face up, squeeze those eyes tight and squeeze those cheeks up. And we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Relax your face, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, that face is feeling nice and relaxed. Next one, we're gonna do those shoulders. So again, we're gonna be a turtle. I can't think of another animal that does this, but we're gonna be a turtle again, and we're gonna scrunch up into our shell, pull those shoulders up like you wanna retreat into your shell, and we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, this is my favorite one. We all get to show off our muscles. We're gonna flex those arms, hold them nice and tight for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Relax and breathe in and out. Oh man, guys, I actually skipped one last time. So we have an extra surprise. We're gonna do our hands. So we're gonna imagine squeezing an orange like we're trying to get all the juice out. So we're gonna squeeze our hands as hard as we can and we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release those hands. You can shake out those fingers and take a deep breath in and out. All right, this time, what animal's jumping on our stomach? I have to get ideas from you guys for next time. So we're gonna have that puppy or maybe a cat, not everyone likes puppies, jumping on our stomach. So we're having to flex those abs so that we are ready for that. And we're holding it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven we straighten back out and relax that stomach take a deep breath in and out all right and if you had to do this last time you'll give yourself a little more space so we can straighten those legs out we have those strings at the tip of our toes pulling them up and we're tensing our legs for one two three four five six seven. Okay. Let those legs fall. And we're going to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right. Last one here. We're going to go with our toes again. I'm imagining that I'm on a beach curling my toes into the sand because it's starting to get cold here. So we're going to tense our toes by curling them and we're holding it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, relax those feet. We're gonna take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, so that is something you guys can definitely do on your own to relax your muscles and also breathe while you're doing that. Oh yeah, we like this one. And if you guys wanna tell me also what your uh, favorite one was, like which body part was your favorite or which one made you feel most relaxed? You can let me know in the chat. Oh, we like all of them. That's good. 
I think I like the flexing the arms one for sure. Hand squeezing, I only let you do that one one time, but I like that one. I feel like it gets lots of stress out. Okay. So Steph now is gonna do our gratitude meditation. Um, so she's just gonna walk you through some things and I'll pass it on to her. All right. Good job everyone with the deep breathing and the tensing and releasing. Um, I will be going through a little bit of a meditation. I know that my internet connection is not great. So if I cut out, hopefully that doesn't happen, but maybe Kara can take over for me. But let's get comfortable again, back in our chairs. Sit straight up. So you're alert, but still comfortable. And then just start to deepen your breath again. So maybe let's take some deep breaths together. Let's breathe in and breathe out through your mouth and in and out and one more time we'll go in and out So we know from research that both mindfulness and gratitude strengthen our brain. So we're going to be doing some gratitude um, meditation today. So maybe close your eyes if you feel comfortable. You can also look down or just relax your eyes, whatever works best for you. Relax your body. Deepen your breath and notice your body feeling heavier. Say to yourself, breathing in, I am calm. Breathing out, I relax. I am calm. I relax. And picture a beautiful white light around your body, a bright white light of protection and peace. And imagine that you are breathing in the bright light that surrounds your whole body. and feel it sink into your skin, making you feel warm and safe. Now picture in your mind, the people that help you do the things that make you feel good. Think about the things that you love to do. Who helps you to do those things? It might be your parents, friends, family, your coaches at Special Olympics, all those people that help you do the things that you love to do. And bring one person to mind. Try to picture that person as clearly as you can. And imagine looking in their eyes and you are so happy to see them. And quietly in your mind, say thank you to that person. Now picture someone that did something kind for you in your childhood. Picture them before you and say thank you to that person.
now think about someone that has done something kind for you recently. So it can be something very small that made you feel happy. Maybe someone just bought you Tim Hortons or someone held the door open for you. Picture that person and say thank you. Think of the many things that you have in your life that you feel grateful for. You have so many good things in your life all the time, even if you don't always realize it. Sit for a moment and think of all of the things that you are grateful for. Your family, your friends, your pets, the house where you live, the food you have to eat, and all of those kind people in your life. Now picture a physical item in your life that makes you happy. It could be music if you play an instrument. It could be a blanket, something special to you. Think about that and feel that gratitude. The more things you can think of to be grateful for, the happier you will feel. Feel that gratitude and the happiness in your body. And where do you feel those feelings in your body? Those feelings of warmth and happiness. It could be in your heart, in your chest. It could be in your belly, in your face. And when you think you know where you feel that. Place your hand on that part of your body and take some deep breaths. Breathing in, say, I am happy. And breathing out, say, I am thankful. I am happy, I am thankful, I am happy, I am thankful, I am happy, I am thankful. Now imagine that the light inside of you shines so brightly that you just have to let it out. You feel that shining light inside you, feel the warmth and love that it brings to you. And imagine that you're shining that light back out into the world. The light is shining out of you and it's touching all those people that you thought of when you thought of who you were thankful for. And when you shine out that light, you will be surprised at how many lights shine back at you. Let's take three more breaths together. Breathe in. And out. And breathe in. and out. And one more time, breathing in, and breathing out. And when you're ready, you can start to open your eyes again. You can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and come back to us. All right, 
So maybe I saw a lot of people are already doing this, but let me know what you were thinking of. What are some things that you're thankful for? If you could put them in the chat, that would be awesome. People said my worker, uncle, co-workers, soccer and floor hockey buddies, trainers at the gym. A lot of people were thankful for music, me too. Birds and butterflies, I love that. Everyone and everything in life, my skiing team. It sounds like people have a whole lot to be grateful for. Friends, family. Wow, this is amazing. Awesome. I am not sure if I am frozen, but everyone else is frozen to me. <laughs> so maybe I'll hand it over to Kara and see if she has any questions for everyone. Yeah, we have a little bit of extra time here. Um, we could definitely cap it off with another belly breathing so that you all just are so relaxed before you go for the rest of your night, before you go to sleep. Um, I definitely like to do belly breathing before, but I was going to ask you and Justin will help us um, follow up with the questions. Just um, do you think that you could use these activities before your next competition? You can put in the chat. Yeah, or if anyone wants to ask a question out loud, you can use the raise hand function. Uh, so we have a few that already have their hands raised. Oh yeah, we're happy to answer questions. So Sarah, you can unmute and you can say. Yeah, I use this for when I go to the Winter World Games. Yeah, that's amazing, Sarah. Thank you. That's awesome. And Jordan, you can unmute. Um, going to Worlds for winning medals, always staying focused. We had to listen to the bodies, the breathing. That's amazing, Jordan. So you can use it for Worlds, for competition, staying focused. That's awesome. That's such a good idea. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, Alex, you can unmute. Uh, I really like the, the finger breathe, such as we simply trace the fingers up and down. Up means breathe in, and down means breathe out. Good. Yeah, there's a. Uh... I would love to see you guys use these techniques in competition. And if that's your favorite one, then you can go ahead with that one. Thanks for your question, Alex. No problem. Uh, Danielle, you can unmute. Uh, I went in to mention to you, Justin, next Monday, I can't make it because it's my works AGM me then. So unfortunately, it's the same time. And what I was wondering was, could I share these techniques in the Alumni Hub newsletter because my support workers had a lot of questions from the parents on that group if they aren't involved in Special Olympics and they want to learn how they could help their athletes for a lot more because a lot of them have lost their jobs because of the pandemic. Yeah, for sure. I think it would be really awesome if you could share these. Um, and then if you are missing a session, these are recorded. So it will be posted on YouTube Tuesday next week. Uh, so you can watch it the next day. And if you need help finding a link, just shoot me an email and I'll be able to get that to you. And if I have a question, or I send it to you after I watch the session and you'll get me the answer? Yeah, I'll get you an answer for sure. 
Thank you. And I just want to thank the performers, the presenters. My favorite technique was the muscle relaxation because I did a lot of lifting today. So it really helped to bring my muscle tension down. Thank you. Thanks, Danielle. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, Lori, you can unmute. Okay, um, I remember you asked us if we have done this before. Yes, we've done it in peak one, two, three, and now 4.0. And these actually help relax our minds, but to be honest, we got a, we got a very fit person in front of us right now, AKA Justin. I challenged him and he actually did it. <laughs> Proud of him. Now I have to do his. Thanks, Lori. You're welcome. Do you have a question for Steph and Kara? Uh, yeah. Um, so when you feel like you're, um, say you get really stressed out at like programs or whatever, like during the day, how do you calm yourself down without getting angry at your staff or at, or at other teammates when they're bullying you? Oh, yeah, I think um, I actually played sports for a lot of my life. And when I felt that and I was getting overwhelmed or even maybe a little bit angry, I find that the deep belly breathing is the best one to calm kind of that yeah, overwhelming feeling. If you slow down your breathing and you close your eyes and maybe even just take a step away from everyone for a minute to do that in your own space. I think that yeah, would be a good Because in, in Medicine Hut, a, one of our teammates came up to us and called us a bunch of losers because we didn't win medals. And that made us all feel like really bad but then when I got to my next provincial games in Calgary she tried to do it again and I got really strong and said you know what not this time no bullies allowed in special olympics it's in the code of conduct yeah okay thank you Lori thank you uh, Miranda you can unmute Sorry, I was late, um, but you were asking Steph what we're thankful for. Yep. And I said, my partner, I'm thankful for him. But I'm also, I'm also thankful for the peak program. And yeah, Kara, can I use this as a meditation process? Because I'm the current ambassador of Strathcona County. So can I use it when we're getting ready to prepare for the the upcoming games yeah of course cool awesome thanks miranda you're welcome uh jordan you can unmute okay i have a question so um if um somebody's going to the world games for the first time and for for me example i went to the games and when i and I didn't know that I was on a team. And so when I get stressed, do you know what I can do with um, my breathing techniques if I'm going to my second four games, if i am um, been asked again? So when I go to my um, second games, um, I want to know some breathing techniques if I'm going again to the World Games the second time. Yeah, so I think, yeah, that second competition um, at the World Games is sometimes even more nerve wracking, right? Because you have been there before, you kind of know what to expect. So I think if, like Justin said, these are all recorded and you could, if you forgot what we did today, I would definitely take note of um, kind of the techniques we went through and you can do those, you know, before or around your competitions. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, Lianca, you can unmute. Hello, I have a question about the 
mindful techniques like the hands. Just one minute. My alarm on my alarm clock was going off. Um, and can you, I know you said we could use it when we go to competitions, but can we also use it during the day? Like when we're at home or wherever? Oh yeah, for sure. You can never use these kind of techniques enough. You can use them throughout the day. It doesn't have to just be centered around your sport or competitions. You can for sure do it anytime. All right. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having us. You're welcome. Thanks, Lianka. Uh, Brittany, did you still have a question? I'll give you the chance to mute. Uh, um, yeah, I think like when I do, like if I'm dressed or anything, I just do my meditation and like I have put music on in a meditation that helps me leave my stress and not think of other stuff that's going on. And I'm thankful for being on here very nice to be on here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for your comment and question. Music is a great um, resource to use too. Maybe one of our next sessions, we should think about something around music. Awesome. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, we'll go Laura next. Hey, Justin. Hey. Mine might be more for you than for the other person. Just because um, I did try to uh, sign up to the virtual games and I tried filling out the uh, platform and mm -hmm. when I push the button that like when all the stuff was filled out and I push that my account would be good. It didn't actually get to anything else, if you kind of get what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, so currently there's some problems that are going on. Um, SO Ontario is actually the one behind the platform, so I'll be working with them on it tomorrow. But sometimes when you do your submission for your account, it doesn't actually uh, give you a verification that's complete. But if you try yeah, logging right in, now. yeah, if you try logging in and use your email and whatever password you picked, uh, sometimes it does go through and it'll let you log in. Um, so try that. If it doesn't work, shoot me an email and then I'll connect with Ontario tomorrow and we'll be able to help you out. Can you put your email in the chat? I don't know if I know it. Yep, I will. And then do you have a question for Steph or Kara? Um, I'll say for Steph or Kara, um, I am, I do like the belly breathing and the gratitude and the finger breathing. I actually drew my hand so it could help me out with the finger breathing part. That's awesome. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Darby, you can unmute and ask a question. Hello. My question is, is I wish I had this during my, uh, nationals because in my final game I was a little bit more like nervous and, and I lost and I I still felt great afterwards but I think if I had that I would have done even better thank you you guys yeah now going forward, I'm glad that you have these skills you can yes. use. Yes, yeah. because it's gonna help me net, net, next time saying I can win, I can do this. Instead of saying, no, I was scared competing against Ontario because they've been doing bocce longer and things. So thank you. Yeah, thanks Darby. You're welcome. Awesome. Andrew, you can unmute. 
Oh, hi there. Um, you know, um, you know, like when I went to um, provincials in uh, this was in Medicine Hat in um, twenty in twenty seventeen. Well, my team did um, well and got gold, right? And then another Edmonton team, team, another Edmonton, the more pro- pro- advanced team, did well too and got the the gold too. Too, but um, in Nova Scotia, they could only send um, one soccer team team to go to Nova Scotia um, to compete. Pete, our um, team got the gold, but we couldn't we couldn't get into um, Nova Nova Scotia. But um, but uh, my team um, stayed um, stayed um, very calm, and I said I said to my teammates, "It's okay. We we tried our best best and." Um, also, uh, another moving on to another thing when our um, when our football team team um, changed the name to Elks, they didn't do um, they didn't do very well. But I but I just um, I just took a nice deep breath, um, the meditation, and um, and um, just uh, stayed calm and um, just gave the team some um, slack, just like the like the new the Brooklyn Islanders back then. They didn't do very well, but I still gave the team slack. When I was in New, visiting New York or Brooklyn. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, Andrew. I'm glad you used the breathing techniques. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, so we'll do one last question. So Andreas, if you have a question for Kara and Steph, you can unmute. How's it going, Kara? Good. How are you? Very good. I. Uh... I just came back from, uh, like I did, I did, I did today. I did, uh, jogging today. Good. Like just to keep me in shape. Like, like what you said, uh, breathe in and breathe out. Like when I was doing jogging, which means I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and, good, like, yeah. And, and also I, uh, the other one with the, like the, was it your or was it Stephanie like with the, like with muscles? Was it your or was it Stephanie? The tensing the muscles and relaxing them? Yeah, was it your or was it Stephanie? That one I ran you guys through that exercise. Oh, yeah. But not Stephanie. Nope, she did the mindfulness one. Yeah, I actually, I like that. Well, I like both, I like both yours and Stephanie's. Good. That's what we hope. Thanks, Andreas. So I believe that's everything for questions right now. So if you guys have anything else you want to add, uh, we can do that. Otherwise, we'll wrap up for the evening. Yeah, thank you so much for having us, everyone. I do have the password. Um, it is squid. Squid is your password. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We always love being here and practicing with you and remember to keep practicing so that we can keep our minds strong and healthy. Awesome. Thank you for having us. Oh, sorry. No, Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I'll definitely be back to do this again with you. Yeah, we are super excited to continue the partnership with Enhance Lab and have you guys join us each peak session. It's been amazing having you guys run us through sessions. If you guys do have any questions, you can shoot me an email. Uh, I'll be able to help you out. And if I need to message Steph or Kara, I can get their uh, answers for you guys. But other than that, let's have a good evening and I will see you all at the dance on Thursday. So bye, everybody.